I did a video on this build not too long ago, about a month or so ago, where Dirty Gaming and Regilod coming together to do a full bells and whistles base image with a 250 gigabyte ROM pack so you can build your own custom image. Everything from 32 gigabytes, 64, 128, 200, or even a 256. You can even go potentially bigger than that, but really you're probably be going to be in that range. So let's go ahead and check this out. It's fully updated and some of the things that I had an issue with in the previous image have been addressed. So this one is definitely a big improvement. Let's check it out. All right, known as the Supreme Build version 2 for Raspberry Pi 3B and 3B Plus. Um, I started with the base image and I just threw some Super Nintendo, Nintendo 4, Neo Geo, and Nintendo ROMs on here and uh, Atari 2600. But um, as you see, you get a power, you have a Pixel, Kodi, you have a jukebox, you have Chromium so you can watch Netflix on your Pi, you can stream so you can, um, if, if you want to uh, cast your, your games, you can cast them onto your Raspberry Pi. Ports on here as well, are the same things as before. And then uh, you have the ROMs that I just added. Rocking the new uh, Hursty's um, Blu-ray uh, theme. You can have a, a whole bunch of other themes on here as well. And once you see what's on this Raspberry Pi config, you're going to be impressed. Blu-ray, Dark Switch. Okay, so there's only two comes with stock, but it's easy to go into RetroPie over here, which they call it Setup on this particular theme. And you have Amira Berry, Do DOSBox, RICAST, RPIX86, ScumVM, and UAE4, ARM, Amiga, uh, front end, all that stuff for you right here. Background music, enable and disable script. You have the, this is the first image I've seen that has the bezel project pre-installed for you. The bezel project, for those of you that are new to it, gives you a custom bezel for every single game that's a mainstream game. Uh, some of the rear games might not have it, but like for example, all 700 Nint uh, Super Nintendo games will have it installed. Uh, Bluetooth script, Dreamcast uh, fix, all of Easy Hacks toolkit, all the fixes, and things, Zinmo controllers, I know a lot of people use that when they have a Zinmo, um, adding a hard drive, changing out splash screens, things like that. Then you have all the Motion Blue version 6 scripts as well, including GPIO shutdown, jukebox configuration, Kodi repair script, media removal, overclock script, um, all sorts of stuff on here. And it has a track mode, switch genesis to Mega Drive. You even have the ZT ROM installer, which uh, basically it allows you to download ROMs on the fly through a script. Um, in addition to that, you have the ROM pack, which I'll get into later in this video of what's on the ROM cap. What is it? Basically, it's a 200. It's over 250 gigabytes. It's like 258, 256, and uh, it has all your ROMs on it. So I'll show you that. And basically, all you have to do is drag and drop. And look at this. You'll have a, a box art and then a video snap. A box art and then a video snap. Uh, all you got to do is drag and drop the media files and the ROMs, and it's working good. I did not transfer over my art for Nintendo 64 but I did transfer it over for Neo Geo, for example. So there you go. Um, let's go ahead and check out the bezel project. So let's go ahead and install it for, let's just go ahead and update it for SNES. Nice, loading. Finally, we have loading videos now. Cool stuff. That is a new feature, so you can do videos instead of just pictures. And bezel project for you. Razor has its own bezel for that specific game. Um, where if we do Aero Fighters, should have a custom loading screen, boom. Both Super Nintendos, <laughs> import and exported. And then we should have a custom bezel just for this particular game because of the bezel project. And there it is. Nice. So bezel project, bezels, loading screens, very cool stuff. Um, so awesome, awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and check out a track mode because it does have a HyperPy 2, a track mode overlay on here. The other thing I wanted to show you was um, that the, blue, the overclock script was updated on this one. On the two-play image, it still needs to be updated. But this one has over seven different overclock settings for the Raspberry Pi 3B and 3B Plus. So you guys got have a cup. So some of you with like a really cooled case, 
So there you go. You can do 14, 7, 5, 1500, 1550, or 1575 on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. And then on the Raspberry Pi 3 regular, you can go up to 1.3, 1.35, 1.4. So pretty cool. Um, and the even warning, yeah, I wouldn't do 150 or 150. So you have all these little options. So pretty cool. Uh, I haven't tested them out yet and always be careful using them, but that's good to see that there's options like that on the script. And basically it just changes your config file for you without needing a computer, which is really cool. Um, one last thing we wanna look at is a track mode. All right, here we are in a track mode. And as you see, it's a nested system. This is based off of Regilod. Uh, he did an image, and a lot of people like this um, this track mode. It's got videos on it. It's very beautiful. It would look great in a bar top or arcade. So let's go ahead and go into consoles. Whoop, wrong. And in Atari. And there you go. HyperPy 2 style. We can go back. And you can see all your systems. So we also did Super Nintendo. We can go in. And inside, we've got our Super Nintendo games. And uh, let's just try a game, Contra 3. Loading videos, very cool, nice. I'm liking this attract mode with all the, the loading screens and then we're gonna have the bezel project as well. I mean, this thing is looking, for those of you that like that kind of customization, this thing is looking really, really, really clean. Nice, I'm liking the Contra from the bezel project here. So as you see, you can um, you know get this thing set up pretty dope, pretty, pretty amazing. I always do that. I did that back when I had a Super Nintendo as well. Is you're trying to figure out your controls and what's the first button you automatically press? Frickin'. Run this over. And if you hit start, you'll go back to the main menu. You can go to settings here. And then within settings, you have reboot, reboot to emulation station, Wi-Fi, retropy video loading screens, you have all a Team ZT. Oh, only on emulation station. Uh, all those same scripts and everything, you can still get access to them. The easy hack stuff and all that reset your controls, configure it. Wow. So pretty much everything, you even have the uh, a lot of people like this um, Amtrak light gun setup script already for you. So if you want an image with all the scripts, all like easy, easy, one click, no keyboard needed, pretty nice stuff to have. And the ROM pack is 256 gigabyte ROM pack. And if you right click this, and this is gonna be your, your artwork as well. So you might be wondering, wow, it's a lot of files. So 258 gigabytes right here. And uh, it's gonna give you not only your box art, it's gonna give you your wheel art for track mode. It's gonna give you your snap videos for all the little preview files. Um, I don't, okay, and you got some cart art as well. Um, now, you might be wondering what systems are included. Um, you have uh, Amiga, quite a few here. Um, I'm just gonna go through this pretty quickly. Amstrad, CPC, a lot. So a ton of those, arcade set. 2,600 arcade games. Uh, we can go ahead and copy, hold down Amstrad to give you more of a number. 3,300 of those. Atari 800, none. Atari 2,600, that's going to be standard. 5,200, you got them as well. 7,800, you guys have seen those as well. Atari Lynx, it's a pretty standard collection. Atari ST. Quite a bit. So ST is looks close to a thousand. It looks like, or a couple hundred at least. Four hundred nine. Commodore sixty four. Not many. About thirty or forty. Maybe hunt. Maybe sixty. Cole E. Co. Vision. 
147. Daphne, um, looks like we have a couple. Yeah, Cliff, Ace, yeah, a few games. Dreamcast, we only have uh, Crazy Taxi 1 and 2, Dead or Alive 2, Marvel's Capcom, Power Stone, Physic Force, Sonic Adventure 1, 2, and Soul Calibur. Now you can obviously add your own ROMs as well, especially if you're using a one terabyte hard drive, you can add those in. Final Burn Alpha, none. Those are going to be all in the arcade games. Uh, Family Disk System, 91. Game and Watch, probably about 58 or so. Game Gear, should be 256 items. Game Boy, Game Boy, 550. Game Boy Advance, 1000. Game Boy Advance Hacks, 31. Game Boy Color, 540. Game Boy Hacks, you got about 20. Genesis Hacks, you got about 196. I think this is Game Gear Hacks, yep, Game Gear Hacks. In television, none. MAME, all those are going to be in the arcade set, so nothing here. Second Master System, also known as Genesis, or no, not Genesis, I'm thinking Mega Drive. There's 288. Mega Drive, also known as Genesis, 792. Mega Drive Japan, 200. MSX, 574. MSX2, 87. There's a music folder here. If you want to add background music, there is none now. 1064, 310. Nintendo DS. Oh, wow. So here's where a lot of your space is. How big is this? It was like 1,900 games. A lot of these you can delete. But again, we're going to do external hard. So there's 54 gigabytes right there. Neo Geo, 152. Nintendo, 798. Nintendo Hacks, 10. It's a little less than 10. Neo Geo Pocket, 16. Neo Geo Pocket Color, over 20. PC, about 10. PC Engine, 260 or so. PC Engine CD, looks like you only got about four. Not even, you have two. Ports, you can install ports on your own. PSP, only two, Chess and Chess Master. PSP Minis, that has all of them. Uh, so 290. PlayStation, so here's where a ton of them are. There's like 250 PlayStation games here. In case you're wondering what's on here. Quite a bit. Scum VM, a lot on here as well. 50 of those. Sega 32X, 40. Sega CD, 56. So not all the Sega CDs. SFC, well, how many was that? 490. SG-1000, 70, SGFX, about 5, SNES, 780, SNES Hacks, about 30, uh, this is the Team ZT installer, it's not any games, T TurboGrafx-16, about 100, TurboGrafx-16 CD, about 6 or so, Vetrix, 20, Video Pack, 40, Video Pack 2, none, Virtual Boy, about 20, Wonderswan, 100, Wonderswan Color, 90, Z Machine, none, and then finally ZX Spectrum, 350. So I was wondering what's in the, art, the, the kit, those are it, you can obviously use this on the Wear Dirty Gaming build, but you can also use this on a Motion Blue or on a stock version of RetroPie as well. So those people wondering what all is there, what's what is it's the artwork, the video snaps, the ROMs, all set up for you in the pack. That's what you're getting. All right, there you have it. Regilod Supreme Build version two, really nice stuff. So faster hyper pie added to the attract mode beautiful stuff the bezel project was a big deal to me they updated chromium for you which is kind of a little pain to do so it's there the jukebox is there for you if you want to turn this into an mp3 player background music's all set up you got the loading you got the loading video screens now which is really cool some other tweaks were done that overclock uh, script is nice um, they said that they fixed N64 resolution was off, they fixed Daphne controls, they fixed a light gun, they fixed some of the game bezels. 
they fixed some of the permission issues in Linux. Uh, GPIO drivers are not pre-installed in stock build. And then uh, there you go. As far as what I did to set this up is I just installed the image. I uh, put in my controller. It found my controller very easily. And then I expanded the file system and I turned off the background music. That's all I did. Everything else, I just dragged and dropped those ROMs as you saw when I showed you the, um, the ROM pack. So with all that said, I'm gonna have to give this one an A. Like he really stepped up to the to the game and you know listened to our feedback, not only mine but everyone else's, and made the fixes. And here you are with this cool little build. So I'm finding this is more and more uh, coming more and more popular because we now have two play has a base image. Word Gaming has a base image, Motion Blue version 6 is a base image, or you could just start with a stock RetroPie 4.4 image, and I know there's some other people out there that are making base images, so you got a lot of choices out there, but this is a nice combo for a base image ROM pack duo, uh, but again, you can use that ROM pack for any base image, so you're, you're not stuck on just this one. But with all that said, I am more stoked for this one than I was the previous one, a lot of great fixes. And as I mentioned, you could set this all up with a controller. You don't necessarily need a keyboard. Now my one uh, little caveat, my one feedback on this is that the, that the splash screens on here are with basically strippers doing dancing around uh, a wooden floor like you see here. And I know that a lot of my viewers have their kids and they're, or they're married, so just be wary of that. I wish that that was not enabled stock, that you had to enable that. So for those of you that um, that are wary about that or have kids at home, you might want to disable that right off the bat or delete it out of the splash screens. Or you can go to the RetroPie setup and delete splash screens there or upload your own and switch them out. So once you do that though, you're good. Um, I'll show you what those look like now. So just so you guys we might want to turn off your screen or, or fast forward a little bit. <laughs> So again, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.